Hi, my name is Antonio Rayo, and I'm on a mission to provide the world's best free resource for how any business owner in any industry can run their business without getting a loan. And today, I'll be sharing with you one of the many lessons we can learn from the company Betty Crocker. Now, Betty Crocker is a company owned by the giant General Mills, the $38 billion company. And uh, they're basically, uh, they're killing it. They're pretty strong. And uh, but it's important to remember that Betty Croc was not always like how it is today. And in the 1940s, Betty Croc came out with this crazy idea that they thought was going to be the next big thing. Betty Croc decided they were going to release cake mix that all you need to do was just add water. You know, we have cake mix today that, you know, you need to add eggs, water, butter sometimes, a couple ingredients. But back in the 1940s, Betty Crocker was going to release this cake mix that all you need to do is add water and you'd bake a cake. Anyone could bake a cake at that point. And Betty Crocker thought this would boost sales because it's so easy. Anybody could do it. You know, people like convenient stuff, stuff that is easy. And this is how Betty Crocker thought. They thought, you know, it's easy. Everyone's going to love it. And boom. So Betty Crocker releases this cake mix that only requires water. And what happens is sales declined unexpectedly. They're, everyone's like Betty Crocker scratching their head. Well, what's going on? You know, why, why did sales decline? What, what, what the hell's going on here? So they turned to this man called Ernest Ditcher, the father of motivational research. And what Ernest did was he liked to understand people's motivations for doing certain things by uh, interviewing people. So what he did was he interviewed Betty Crocker's clients who at the time were housewives because it's the 1940s. And what he found out was the women, the housewives, felt guilty instead of proud of making the cake because they felt it required so little effort on their end. You know, they didn't think they actually made the cake. They thought, you know, I'm not really baking. I'm not really contributing to the cake. And this was, you know, really an aha moment for, um, you know, Betty Crocker, because once they understood that, you know, the women felt like they weren't doing enough work, Betty Crocker, what they did is they made you now add an egg. And now you have to add an egg to the cake plus water to make, to build, to bake the cake. And once they did this, sales went up because now the women were feeling like they actually baked the cake themselves. And that's the lesson today. Now, it might be the Ikea effect. Some people say, the Ikea effect, you know, um, the Ikea effect is essentially people like uh, things that they build or make. And that that is a good lesson in itself. But that isn't the lesson of today. That is the wrong lesson. You should be taking away from it. The lesson of the day is to interview your clients. There are so many breakthroughs that become possible when you interview your clients. Like, for example, like like this, the Betty Crocker example, it's a perfect example. Ernest Ditcher was able to identify that and, uh, you know, turn a losing product into a winning product. You know, if he wouldn't have done that, if you wouldn't have interviewed his clients, Betty Crocker would have ne never known that. And it's just like that in your business. You know, I always tell business owners, interview your clients, see what they like, you know, how they think. And by interviewing them, you're able to, you know, have your message uh, align with their thoughts. So that way you're able to sell more people. If that makes sense, you know, because once you know what they like, it's easier to sell it to them. It's easier to com to communicate with them. It's easier to make them happy. So just interview your clients. Like that is a huge um, thing you could do to rapidly grow your business. So yeah, that's the lesson today. If you have any more comments, questions, concerns, uh, suggestions, feedback, if you love the videos, if you hate the videos, uh, please let me know. Uh, my email is faq at antonioreo.com or uh, please text me at 510-556-3775. Thank you and have a great day.